This rock is as good a place as any to study about nodules. A nodule is an irregular mass or a lump that is found often within another rock. And, you know, it's just like, you know, it's wedged in there. It's a nodule. And it contrasts with the host rock that it's in. It contrasts from the host strata. In this case, you have chert nodules found within limestone. There is a very good reason why you can find chert nodules in limestone. And it has a lot to do with how the limestone itself was formed. Limestone is a carbonate rock. It's formed from the remains of ancient marine shells. The animals died and the shells were left behind. And that was how limestone was formed. This whole area used to be underwater. This particular limestone was formed during the Pennsylvanian period. It's part of the Pottsville Formation. The chert nodules were formed from marine wildlife as well. Consider what chert is made of. It is made of silicon dioxide. Diatoms are made from silicon dioxide as well. And diatoms are often found in marine environments. The diatoms would die off, leaving behind a skeleton. And that skeleton, made of silicon dioxide, it would dissolve, recrystallize. Think about what happened. You've got the remains of diatoms. They have dissolved, recrystallized, and they've gotten trapped inside of the limestone. And it would just grow and grow and grow until you have nodules of chert just wedged in there. You can just see the chert nodules just wedged inside of the limestone. This whole area used to be underwater. And when the seas retreated, it left behind limestone and little chert nodules inside the limestone. If you like this video, be sure to check out other videos on this channel. And as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. To get notifications when a video is uploaded, hit the bell next to subscribe. You'll be notified whenever a video gets uploaded.